Hello moon babies, it's Molly. Welcome back to the channel. I hope that this little love note finds you well. So autumn, autumn is approaching and there is something about the mysterious, mellow, golden quality of this season that really stirs up the art witch in me. <laughs> Maybe it does for you too. So I thought it would be fun to share a whole bushel of ways that you can celebrate autumn magic in your grimoire. So let's get to the prompts. <laughs> Record an autumn color collection. Create a page in your grimoire cataloging the autumnal colors you notice in your environment to heighten your magical vision and really drink in seasonal beauty. You can do this scavenger hunt style. You could record them with watercolors, colored pencils, fabric swatches, or colors you cut from magazines. Dab cobs of corn with paint or ink and roll the corn cob around on the page <laughs> for a harvest inspired textured background in your book or to create papers to use in your book later. Create a page dedicated to all of the beautiful poetic names for the autumn moons. Harvest moon, singing moon, wine moon, sturgeon moon. Perhaps make up a name for a full moon inspired by your own environment and observations. Write a list of all the teachers you are grateful for. Spiritual teachers, teachers of your particular craft of choice, your vocation, ancestral teachers, animal teachers, digital teachers, academic teachers, who has helped you learn and grow along the way. Trees are truly the stars of autumn, so you could consider dedicating a page to honoring dryads. You could also consider leaving your book in a tree overnight to receive tree blessings and green magic inspiration. <laughs> Experiment painting in your book with fruit juices to invoke that bountiful harvest energy. You could try pomegranate, cranberry, berries, even wine. Decorate dry leaves. Use acrylic paints, paint pens, metallic paint, perhaps even embroidery floss, stamps, and decorate them with patterns words of power, and symbols that are meaningful to your practice. Make a cornucopia-shaped pocket for your grimoire. The cornucopia, or the horn of plenty, is a powerful symbol of nourishment and spiritual abundance. Use this pocket to tuck drawings, magazine cuttings, words, or symbols to invite abundance and gratitude. Write an affirmation or a list of affirmations to help you navigate change gracefully. Use boxing tape to create specimen tags of autumn herbs, flowers, and leaves. Sprinkle or place your dry botanical specimen on the sticky side of the clear boxing tape, seal it with a second piece of tape on top, and burnish out all the air bubbles until your tape is flat. These make really fabulous little mini spell bookmarks. Compose a letter to Themis, the goddess of balance, justice, and equality. Her feast day is September 28th. In your letter, ask her to imbue you with reason, fairness, truth, and a thirst for justice. 
Mushrooms galore! <laughs> Celebrate mushroom magic in your book. Draw mushrooms from life. Write a recipe using mushrooms. Learn the names of mushrooms in your area or research mushroom myths and lore. And finally, create a dark mirror in your book. Autumn is a wonderful time to explore divination and intuition. To create a dark mirror, paint one side of a piece of clear plastic packaging or page protector with black paint. Adhere the plastic to your grimoire page, shiny side out, painted side in. This way you achieve a reflective surface. You could draw or collage a frame for your dark mirror and scry away. <laughs> I hope that some of these ideas help spark some autumnal magic in your magical books, Moon Babies. I want to thank you so much for being here, for watching, and for your support. If you'd like to see more work like this and get more guidance for your art magic practice, you can consider joining us on Patreon, and I'll leave a link for that in the down bar. I'm wishing you a big, beautiful, gorgeous, colorful autumnal equinox or vernal equinox, depending on where you are on the planet. And until we speak again, moon babies, witch on, witch boldly, and be well. Mm.